Dumbass, your boy Nico here, West Coast Battle Media, West Up, all that good shit. We in the building. We got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. I let a couple days go by, let a few days go by. I wanted to let it marinate, wanted to see how the culture was going to respond to it, wanted to see how I would respond to it. But we have to discuss this now, man. URL has dropped the app. URL as one as I consider myself a day one supporter as somebody who's been around battle rap my entire life I want to thank you salute to URL I don't I'm almost had a lot of words this is one of the best things to ever happen to battle rap I think this is about damn time that something like this was brought into battle rap now let's just go ahead and go over everything that has to do with the app man so for those of y'all who know, man, they dropped this app Monday, man. We'll go ahead and cop that. Make sure you go ahead and get that, man. Make sure you go ahead and cop that. Get in there, man. And my first initial response to seeing the app, man, and seeing everything that was going on with the app, I, I, I liked it, man. I, I definitely enjoyed what I was seeing, man. I didn't have any, I didn't have too many complaints about the app myself personally. I think, you know, going over some of the features, obviously you have about, I think it's about 15 battles up on there. I think New Jersey twerk versus rum nitty is something that just comes with the app so you get the free version of the app you get to watch rum nitty versus new jersey twerk for free then once you cop it man you get battles like goods versus cassidy geechee Gotti versus chess that was fucking crazy one of the battles of the year you get young grizz versus cuban i mean you get a lot of dope cons content on there man a lot of dope stuff going on on there man so definitely a dope investment man it's 7.99 Seven ninety nine. Yeah, I'm saying it's it's an investment. I know, and I and, and, and sidebar just so I can say this real quick because there's been a lot of people talking crazy about those who don't want to purchase the app. I'm not gonna be one of those people. I'm not gonna be one of those people. If you in a position right now where financially it just you can it that's not gonna make sense for you financially. You can't afford it. I understand. I understand. I've been there in my lifetime too, where. I'm saying sometimes you may not just have it just to go ahead and uh, give out every month. I understand that some people may be going through it, maybe struggling a little bit more than others. And I'm not going to hate on nobody who's a real supporter of the culture who's like, man, I just can't do it at the moment. What I am going to say, though, is if you're one of those people who just wants to talk crazy about Smack, Beasley, Norbs, uh, Chico, P, everybody who had a hand in putting this together, everybody who had a hand in putting in this work to get this here, if you just gonna talk crazy and not spend your paper, that's where I have to go ahead and say something. Y'all need to get the fuck on. Just being serious, man. This is something great. I know a lot of people have been trying to pocket, pocket watch, and oh, well, they have all these subscribers, and they're gonna get all this paper. So, hey, they're a business. Yes, Battle Rap is the culture, but URL is a business. And you should not, and nobody should be hating on a business making a new move to further their business, to improve upon their business and give the people something dope that, to me, is elevating the culture. This is something I feel like the entire culture is going to be start moving towards pretty soon. I think this is a great, great look for battle rap. You understand what I'm saying? So if you're one of them people, man, who you're a supporter and you... You know what I'm saying? Just just, just don't talk crazy. If you're not going to get it, don't talk crazy about it. You know what I'm saying? For one, you haven't had all the ins and outs. You're not, you're not spending your paper on it. You're not out here really appreciating the content and really uh, supporting what they're doing. So just, if you ain't going to say anything dope about it, if you ain't going to give your praise, just cut just cut all the chat. Real talk. Just cut all the chatter. Don't sit over here hating on them. You know, haters going to hate. It is what it is. But coming from somebody who's been a part of battle rap my entire life and coming from somebody who really is about this culture i'm telling you this app is dope this is much needed and salute and shout out to url for being the ones to go ahead and execute it now if we're gonna get into some of the things that i've seen that maybe i would like to go ahead and change i would say the first thing that i kind of noticed was the display name now when i was signing in at first i had a couple issues signing in and i feel like that was something that a lot of people probably had complaints with was the sign in and you know what I'm saying? They have the video on the URL uh, YouTube channel. They have it on Twitter as well. Make sure you go ahead and check out all areas of, uh, of YouTube, the, the social medias for URL. Check out all of that. They have all the descriptions everywhere that you're supposed to do it. Yeah, you know I'm saying? I'll also drop that in the description as well so y'all can go ahead and make sure you go ahead and cop that. But yeah, I think the sign-in was something that at first it was, a, it was a little different. And, you know, once you sign in, they give you a display name. 
you know what I'm saying, automatically based on how you sign in. And I know how I signed in. I had to sign in on a different um, email address. I had to sign in on a different email address so my display name is based upon my email. Obviously, it's not saying West Coast Battle Media on it, so that's something I would like to change where, you know what I'm saying, if we're talking about making an adjustments or update, maybe go ahead and find a way where you can go ahead and update that display name, be able to put what you want up on there and whatnot. That's like a little minor update. Like I said, I don't really have too many complaints for real at all. I really don't have any complaints, just kind of suggestions for what I feel like can be made better. Um, the scorecard. When you're watching the battles, you have a little uh, option on there where you can go ahead and keep pressing the button in the corner, in the bottom corner, and it's dope. You know, it gives you the Don DeMarco, the air horn, and all that, and it's dope. You know what I'm saying? You do only get 30 per, which you know, I think, I think that, I think that's more than manageable. Now, sometimes if somebody's saying something crazy, I might want to give them a hundred URL. I ain't gonna lie to you, URL. Sometimes I might want to just go a hundred with it. You know what I'm saying? We might have to talk about making it unlimited. I don't know URL. I don't know. Maybe unlimited is too much. But I need more than 30. I, don't, I might need more than 30. I might need more than 30. You know what I'm saying? But it is dope, man. I would like to I would like to see as much as you can go ahead and give points for stuff, I would like to have an option where you can take points away. I think that's something that would be dope for the culture. Let's go ahead and take some of the points away. If you say it's something that we don't like, you know what I'm saying? If you spitting trash should be able to deduct points for that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because there is no option to deduct points. So sometimes maybe you say you might have pushed it a couple too many times. You're like, man, now nah, I want to take away some points. So I think that would be something dope uh, to go ahead and add on to it. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think there was anything else that, that really just stood out to me. Like I said, it's only little minor adjustments, little minor kind of things that I would kind of uh, mention out there as far as the app is concerned. Um, the pay-per-view... And this is something I talked about on my radio show recently, man. I, I'm i not one of them people who's mad that you have to pay for pay-per-view separately that you have the app. But I know people are going to bring up the WWE uh, app and all that and try and bring up other facets. But let's just be honest, man. Battle Rap, you know what I'm saying? It's not as big as wrestling, WWE and all that. They're, they're in a different tax bracket, if you will. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I get it that... As a business, you want to make smart choices about how you're going ahead and getting your content out there. So I don't really have a problem with it per se. Um, like I said, they've already said that you're going to have exclusive content on there. So, I mean, maybe if if a suggestion be put out there, maybe say a discount, you know what I'm saying, for maybe some of your app holders or maybe something exclusive that you're not finna get with purchasing the pay-per-view. Or maybe you get an early release, you know what I'm saying, something like that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying, little, little, little things like that maybe, but... You know what I'm saying? That's that, that's kind of minor. That's not really something that I was sweating too, too much. Like I said, all in all, man, I thought it was dope. Uh, the battles that are on there are good. Like I said, you got the Geechee Gotti versus Chess. That's a battle of the year contender. You got Young Grizz versus Cuban. That was a dope battle. Um, you got New Jersey Twerk versus Rum Nitty. You know what I'm saying? You finally get that complete battle to uh, go ahead and drop. So that's good as well. Um, yeah, you got you got uh, Ryder and Sock. I mean, you got a lot of battles on here, man. Got a lot of battles on here, man. And I think it's I think it's a good look, man. Um, yes, you got Goods and Cassidy on there. We 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 not gonna talk. We not gonna talk about. We not gonna talk about that battle. It's it's on there, but we we just not gonna talk. We not gonna talk about it. I'm not I'm not mentioning that battle, but it's on there. You know what I'm saying? So all in all, man, I think this is a very successful launch for URL with the URL app. I think this is dope. I think it's going to push the culture forward. I love what I'm seeing so far. Shout out to Smack Beasley. Norris, everybody at URL. Everybody at URL for innovating, making something dope for the culture. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? This, this is definitely dope. This is definitely something that I've been looking forward to for some years. I've been saying myself, man, I want to see... You know, they make an app and put all the content on there. We've been talking about this for some time, and URL finally executed, put it out there for the people, man. And they said they still going to drop certain content to YouTube. So if you on the YouTube side of the game, you still going to get some content. But, man, try and invest that $8, man. $7.99. Try to invest that paper into URL, man. I'm telling you it's worth it. Very dope app. Dope experience, man. Shout out to everybody at URL again. That's really all I had to say about it, man. Make sure y'all go get the app, man. Get that, man. ASAP, you know what I'm saying? West Coast, it's your boy Nico. West up, West Coast Battle Media. We out of here, man. Peace.